Hi, I'm Miss Lisa. I'm a physical therapist. And I have Erin here. She's an occupational therapist that's going to help me show you some range of motion exercises for the legs. Um, the first one I want to work on is some... Um, is the hamstring stretching and then we're going to work on stretching out the inner thigh muscles which are the adductors and the heel cords so the, here's the first one i just want to remind you before you start any of these exercises consult with your student's physical therapist or doctor to make sure that there's no restrictions before you get started okay we're going to start by bringing the hip up to a 90 degree angle Hold with one hand here at the thigh, the other one just above the ankle, and we're going to bring her up like this until you feel some resistance, and then hold for about 10 seconds or more if you can. If you can go a little further after holding a little bit, then try to go a little further. Ask the student if they're having any pain. If they are having pain, you don't want to go that far. Also watch their face to see if there's any grimacing. That would let you know if there's any pain. Okay, the next... One that I wanted to go over is hip abduction, that is bringing the leg out to the side. You want to make sure first that the leg is in a neutral position, meaning the knee and the foot shouldn't be turned either in or twisted out. You want to make sure that the knee is pointing towards the ceiling and the foot's pointing towards the ceiling. So I'm going to grab here and here. Bring the leg out to the side. Okay. okay, that's hip abduction. The last one is stretching the heel cord. So once again, we want to make sure the foot is in a neutral position before we bring it up, okay? So I don't want the, the ankle turned in or turned out. I want it in a neutral position. Then I'm going to grab here at the, the heel and here at the forefoot. The reason why I do it that way is because if I'm just pushing here at the forefoot, then I'm stretching kind of the bottom like the plantar fascia and I'm not getting as much of the heel cord. I want to get that heel cord by grabbing the heel and watch the motion of my hands. So I'm pulling this hand down and in and this one in this direction. So watch again. Once again, you can hold for about 10 seconds or more and then slowly release. Okay, hope that helps. Once again, remember to check with the physical therapist or the doctor before trying any of these activities just to make sure there's no restrictions. Thank you.